friends welcome to the part 32 of this playlist we are looking at real certification questions on certified developer associate this is a very important exam for developers and i would suggest you should go for this certification because it adds a lot of value to your profile if you have not yet subscribed please do so this channel will help you with clearing certifications around aws so many different certifications around aws azure cloud google cloud snowflake and so on by the way, there is a link in the description. You can click and become a Cloud Kernel member or a Cloud Ninja member, and you can gain access to many important questions. The free content plus the paid content together will help you clear the certification. See, you currently are on premises. As usual, if you are still on premises, you are way behind in the cloud journey and you want to move to AWS. So, the uh, yellow, yellow one is the on premises database, blue one is the um, Amazon RDS MySQL. SQL database. So what it does is this is a database which is scalable. It is on the cloud environment. So native to cloud and it supports Oracle, MySQL and so on. You have a lot of uh, read loads and you want to make sure it refactors its code to achieve optimum performance for its queries. That means there are a lot of que read queries. You have to optimize for read queries. So what option we should choose here? If you want to read, add a read replica man. Do not see if you want some extra cash. Do not load your parents. You start working. OK, that means you are creating a, your own replica of the person who is who is working and earning money for you. So C is the right answer. You can pause this article here and read it carefully. Normally in the real life, what we do is if we have a lot of reporting environments, then we create a separate replica of AWS RDS database and the reports hits the RDS replica read replica. What happens in that way is my right queries, my right jobs I have isolated. It happens in the main database, but all the reports they fire out of the read replica and um, my queries perform better and I am not hampering the right performance also. So right performance means you have vertical scaling here. Okay, is this vertical scaling is absolutely uh, crap because see till when you will keep increasing your uh, database size. You cannot keep increasing it. Okay, That will not help you with read replicas. The simple thing is create uh, or that will not help you with read loads. Now B is saying you use multi AC deployment. Multi AC deployment we use for what disaster scenarios. If one environment goes up, goes down, the other environment will be up. Okay. And C is talking about add connection to read replica of EC2 instance. Why will we create a read replica in EC2 instance? We will create it as a RDS read replica and do not spend money on additional cost for EC2 instance. That's why D is wrong. So this would be our final answer. Let us jump into this one. See this red box is EC2 instance. This blue one is a database. Which database? It is RD, RDS C server database. So this RDS is a relational database on AWS cloud and it will help you with your cloud journey. Nowadays, whatever we do is we have Oracle in, in our on-premises. We migrate the data to RDS. Uh, there is an Oracle instance within RDS. We migrate it there. Similarly for SQL server, similarly for MySQL. Nobody wants to stay and keep your database on-premises as of now. So currently what was happening is user was storing the credentials in with the in the code now they don't want to do it the developer also like to automatically rotate the credentials okay why we want to rotate the credential because nobody hacks it if somebody hacks it and we rotate it the credential will not be compromised so rotation is always the best policy if you are a security consultant if you are into it architect and etc you should always remember always remember always remember rotate your credentials okay See, if you want these things to happen automatically, okay, if you want your life to happen automatically, the rotation to happen automatically, you store it in Secrets Manager. Secrets Manager is the only space in AWS where you should store cred uh, credentials, your keys, and so on. This will help you with managing the life cycle of the secrets. It will help you secure encrypt and uh, centrally audit secrets. So secrets can be anything. It can be keys. It can be certificates. It can be user and passwords and so on. And the best part is it will rotate the secrets automatically for you. And that is what you want. You want this automatic rotation of the credentials. Credentials are basically secrets and you want to do it in the most secure way. The most secure way is secrets manager. AWS is testing your knowledge on its own products. Okay, so do not create a custom solution. Secrets manager is born for that purpose by AWS. Use it. Okay, and that is what certification is testing your knowledge on. So option B is the right answer, but let us look at other options. See such kind of things. You never do it through IAM rule. This is absolutely wrong. A is totally wrong. Now, C is telling you store the credentials in encrypted text file. But now you might say, hey boss, I am still encrypting the text file. Nobody can read it. It's the best way of using boss. Do not create custom solutions. So many times I'm telling you do not create custom solutions. 
uh, AWS certification is not testing your intelligence. It's not testing your IQ. You may be a low IQ person, but you can still clear AWS certification. D says you store the username and password in the source code directly. This is a strict no-no. You should never store it in the source code. Plus, it clearly says here that developer doesn't want to store it. Still, you are so stupid that you are yeah, giving this option of storing it in the source code. So D is a stupid option. It is uh, a very unsecured option. So this would be our final answer. Now let us jump into the next question. See the next part that we would be uploading, it will be only for members. So please click the link below in the description and become a Cloud Kernel or a Cloud Ninja member. Cloud Kernel is uh, coming at cheaper cost. If you are short on cash, go for Cloud Kernel. See the paid content is important to clear the certification. The free content alone will not help you clear the certification. You should go with free plus the paid content. If there is a developer and what the developer is doing is he is storing the code in S3 bucket. This blue box is the S3 bucket and then what sort of code? It's a code for Lambda and what they are doing? They are using cloud formation templates to run that code around uh, various re regions. Okay, what is the most secure way to access the Lambda code in the S3 bucket? See, first we'll see there are two kind of things. Uh, uh, options A and B are talking about cloud formation service role and option C and D are talking about service linked, service based link. See, what is a service linked role? Service linked role is a unique type of IAM role that is linked directly to the AWS service. If you want EC2 instance or databases, you want to link it, you can create service linked roles that are predefined by the service and include all permissions that service requires to call another AWS service on your behalf. In this case, always remember service based link is not, uh, not useful because in this case, we will always try to create a role. Service based link internally will create a role, but we will not use it. We generally use cloud formation service role for that purpose. Now, if you look at option B, it is creating the service role to get the object permission, but it is not listing the bucket. And then it is adding a principle for star. Star means everybody, all Tom, Dick and Harry will have access. So this is wrong. In our A would be the right option because here what we are doing, we are creating S3 list bucket. We are getting the permissions and then we are adding uh, this stuff as well for the principle. But if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Do not do not miss this opportunity to you know, clear the certification using the content and the focus explained in this certification. If you are an international user, uh, then I would request that you, uh, there is an option to slow down the video so that you can understand what I'm saying. I have a very pure Indian accent. So a lot of people find it difficult to understand. You can slow down the video speed and you can, uh, that will help you understand. Don't uh, drop in a message that, hey, can you speak slow? I cannot speak slow because I want to finish a lot of content. And uh, I am trying to address major of the audience. This brings us to the end of part 32. The next part, part 33, will be posted in the uh, members zone. Uh, this is a YouTube handle. There are 600 plus videos, so many shots, so many playlists. Do not miss this opportunity to clear your certifications. See you in the next part.